All right, this is what rock hounding dreams are made of. Look at that. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Alex. And today I am taking you along for another epic hunt on the Yellowstone River. We've got the kayak. Unfortunately, we don't have Kip, but we are gonna paddle across to the other side of this channel here and explore some of the fresh gravels over there. So I think we're gonna have a pretty epic time. I'm just gonna hop on in the kayak here real quick. We'll paddle on over and I'll see you on the other side. All right, we made it across pretty easily. Um, and now we can do a little bit of walking to get down to some gravels and we'll see what we can find. Hopefully some awesome stuff. But I think either way, given all the new gravel on the river, we're in store for a pretty epic hunt today. All right, I think this is where we're gonna start today. Just this nice little gravel bar. All of this was likely overturned during the high water. So it's a pretty good place to start. And then I think, depending on how much time we have left, we'll probably cut over that direction. Um, the main channel goes upstream and then makes a big U-turn and there's a big gravel bar in between here and there. So that's probably what we'll do, but let's see what we can find. All right, first find of the day. And I forgot to mention, we have a new sprayer sponsored by Ace Hardware, one of my favorite stores. This is the heavy duty sprayer. So made in the USA. Here is our first specimen. Ooh, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? What the heck? That is beautiful. Guys, this is a 10 out of 10 treasure state agate to start us off. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Wow. Okay, well, that's one way to start the video. <laughs> oh man, let's see what else we can get to. All right, a couple of cool little finds here. This Jasper guy. Very nice little piece of Jasper. And then right here, pretty hefty piece of petrified wood. Pretty blonde colored. Check that out. Look at those wood grain. I mean, that is just stunning. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm sure there's a few more things here. I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> it's a little stone fly, exoskeleton. And I got a couple finds right here. It's a nice little agate. Nothing super special there, just a little nodule, still pretty. And what looks like maybe a piece of petrified wood. Or maybe not, maybe this is more, oh my gosh, maybe even sandstone. I saw this little, what I think was maybe like an agate grain in there and I thought for sure petrified wood, but it doesn't really feel like it. So not, sh not entirely sure, I would go sandstone more than likely. Man, it is hot, 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 hot. Do not worry, I have sunscreen on. All right, this is what rock hounding dreams are made of. Look at that. <laughs> Just sticking right out of the side. Maybe I should just leave it here. No, I'm kidding. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm really digging this sprayer. Okay. There go. Okay, whenever you whenever you open them down or point them down, there we go. That's much better. Look at that. Guys, are you kidding me? That's just a whole piece of carnelian. And carnelian meaning 
Look at that orange glow. That is carnelian for you. Wow, that is just stunning. <laughs> oh, I love this river. I thought you all might appreciate the wood grain on this one. Look at that. Man, it is so pretty out here. The river gods are smiling upon us today, guys. Look at that. I'm pretty sure it's just a little. Yeah, just a little, but. But sure is pretty. Look at that. Look at those little, the quartz pocket in there and the banding. That's really cool. And then just a little ways down, another really pretty piece, petrified wood. Wow. wow. Look at the, uh, look at the wood grain on top there. That's special. Oh, I'm keeping the chain going, guys. Oh, look right there. Wow. Hard to tell if there's much going on inside of this one. At the very least, it's a beautiful agate. You never know. There could be something going on in the inside. That feels so good. All right, we're gonna walk over to the next spot. So we might as well walk and talk. Finally got a new tripod, so that's kind of nice. Initial thoughts on the Ace heavy duty sprayer. I would say pretty good. I like the squeeze. I like the spray. Not sure on durability yet. That'll take some time to assess, but I would say if you're in looking, if you're in the market for a sprayer, not a bad one to give it a shot. So um, let's walk, I don't know, 100 yards down this way. And I'll check in with you once we get to the next gravel spot. All right, as you can see, it's actually quite a bit of gravel to search out here. So we're gonna find a good spot and get to work. There's a pelican over there. <laughs> really pretty over here. I actually didn't even realize there was water. Oh, and a great blue heron flying. A really pissed off one at that. Cool. One of my favorite little things to find. Banded shirt. The bands are somewhat subtle on this one, but you can see them. Hopefully they come across on camera. I think this stuff's really pretty. And we're back to being overwhelmed by gravel again. Not a bad problem to have. All right, this one was just barely sticking out. In fact, I wasn't even sure if it was an agate, so I didn't film myself pulling it out, but all that I could see was just this little kind of grayish tip. Sure enough, it's kind of a pretty little agate. Kind of unusual. Sometimes when you're looking, all you see is just the little tip. And so you really have to be able to recognize that specific texture of an agate so that you can pick that out amongst other rocks. It just takes time to learn it. There's not a secret or a trick to it. it just takes time and experience. Well, this is an expansive beach. There is a lot of ground to cover here, as you can see. I tried to record it, but right here on this log, there was about 20 cormorants. You could see one flying up in the air there, which is a type of water bird. 
and they all flew off when I came out of the woods. <laughs> it's kind of cool. All right, we're finally on the board with an agate right there. Let's take it out. Oh, it's a nice little one. Interesting. Let me clean this all the way up and I'll show you what we got. All right, here we go. It's a really pretty agate. And it does have some sort of moss-like inclusions in there as well as maybe some banding. I just got bit by something, ouch. As well as maybe some banding around the top there. So anyways, that's a nice one. Um, I think I'm getting harassed by horse flies here. So that's fun. That's really fun. Maybe time to move a little bit. All right, get another find here. This little blue nodule. And at first I was like, eh, not that interesting. And then boom, look at those bands. Hopefully they come through on camera. Be really interesting to see if those go all the way through the agate. And I'm not gonna lie, it is so, so hot out here. Got lots of water. I've only got about 30 more minutes of hunting left to do. So hopefully we can, you know, get through another bit of this gravel, but clearly we're gonna have to come back. There's a lot more work to do here. Okay, I have an interesting find. I looked down at this and I saw kind of an agate texture, so I gave it a quick spray. And you can see it's got some interesting characteristics. So I'm gonna pull it out, take it down to the water and clean it up. It might not be anything, but you never know. So let's go check it out in just a sec. Okay, I would put this one in the agate category. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure what to call it. You can see there's almost some agate-like fortifications in there. You have to kind of look closely around the whole thing. It's odd. It's, a, it's between agate and jasper in terms of its... Um, gosh, I'm not sure. It's an interesting one. I'm definitely going to take it home and I feel like this would be a fantastic one to put on the saw. So initial thoughts so far on this beach, there's a lot of jasper. That one's even got some little fortifications in it. A lot of jasper. Haven't been seeing a ton of agates, but I mean, they're here. I know they're here. It's just, you know, it's that classic story of, am I missing them? Or perhaps it's a little picked over. Hard to say. But what I can say is that I think there's a lot of area here to work over. And I think I'm going to move a little bit further away from here just to finish out and maybe give it another 20 minutes and go from there. Ooh, okay. So we've relocated. I, I got ourselves, got us a little bit higher here above the gravel bar where we were. And found a nice little piece of palm wood. Or actually, not so little. <laughs> Go, a sprayer. Oh man, this is like new life. Whew, that's pretty. Very cool. So it's palm wood because of this sort of pattern on the top here. And yes, millions of years ago, there were palm trees in Montana, which is kind of weird, but it's true. I think my decision to move is paying off. Check this out. <laughs> what? What are you? You're so pretty. My gosh. So definitely like moss agate with yellow jasper infusion.
Ooh, baby. That's spicy. Wow, what a find. Maybe a few more of those and we can call it a day. A couple cool things. First of all, I saw this sticking out of the ground, grabbed it thinking it was nothing, and then boom, a little agate. And I'm not sure what the material is on the top, but I love these for tumbling, so cool. And then, aha, right here, it's peeking up out of the ground, you'll see it right there. Another one, oh gosh. Let me clean this off here real quick. Show you what we found. Cool agate. Look at that little mossy inclusion right there. I don't see too much else going on on the outside, but I love that little spot right there. That's so cool. <laughs> I think I got about five or six more minutes of hunting left to do, so let's get to that and then I'm going to give you guys a quick little channel update at the end. Another one right here. Ooh, another sizable one. Let's spray that off real quick. Another beautiful agate. Not a ton going on. Pretty fractured, but at the very least, a great new addiction to the rock garden. All right, I got what I think is gonna be the last find of the day here. Kind of a cool piece of petrified wood right next to this little agate nodule. <laughs> Check that out. It's got like a little eye right there. So, nice size too. hear the fighter jets out. Oh. I don't know where they are. That's pretty though. It's a cool piece. All right, I lied about the last rock. I think I got a pretty sweet one for our last one. Right down here, guys. Check that out. Huge agate. Oh, easily hand-sized. I think what we need to do is take this down to the water to really clean it off. So let me take it down. Let's get it cleaned off for you. And we'll call it a day. Okay, we're back at the river. And here is that big old agate. Would you check that thing out? Wow. Maybe even some banding on the back. That's epic. What a way. What a way to end the video. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I think now is a good a time as ever to do a little bit of a channel update. Let's take these off. So a um, couple big things. First of all, we recently hit the 25,000 subscriber milestone, which I'm pretty stoked about. I know I've slowed down the number of videos that I've been making, but 25,000 subscribers is a lot. So to all 25,000 of you plus more, thank you so much. Um, if you're new to the channel, watching for the first time, or you haven't subscribed, hit that little red button below. That helps me out a lot. Um, I definitely appreciate it. Um, I've also met a few of you in person recently. You know who you are, so that's been a pleasure uh, actually meeting some viewers in real life. Um, I appreciate all the support and comments. As always, it just it, it encourages me and revitalizes me to come out here and share this beautiful river with you. So um, thank you so much for that. The last thing, and I'm uh, even a little bit hesitant to even mention this, um, and I've, what I've decided is that I'd love to make a lapidary investment for the channel. I want to look into getting a bigger rock saw. Um, typically, these are, are very expensive pieces of equipment. We're talking two to $5,000. Um, and so what I wanted to propose actually was um, seeing if there's any viewers that wanted to help donate um, to fund this project, if you will. 
Um, it's definitely something that I think will be utilized on the channel. Um, I'd love nothing more than to cut open some of the finds that we get here on the Yellowstone River and share that process with you. So um, multiple ways to do that. I'm gonna leave links down in the description below. If you wanna donate, no pressure whatsoever. The most important thing you can do if you wanna support me is to watch the channel. That helps out a lot. But if you wanna go above and beyond, you can hit the little donate button um, in the bar below the video. I think it says support or donate or something like that. There's a little money icon there. Um, anything helps. And then I'm also gonna leave a link to my PayPal. Um, if you wanna leave a donation that way, that would also be appreciated. Um, I think I have to kind of do a little bit of research to see exactly what I want to go for. Um, part of it will just depend on what sort of response I get from you guys. Um, and just know that your investment is not something that I take lightly. Um, any funds will be going towards the channel and towards this project, um, which hopefully means I can share more lapidary work with you guys in the future. So without any further ado or talking, um, I'm going to paddle across back home and I'll see you guys next time.